Hello YouTube, um, I have got one of these described as a adjustable step up step down supply module uh, but it's got four USB ports on it and that's the reason I bought it. Now, start off with the adjustable thing which is in the description down here. Adjustable USB step up step down power supply. It is not adjustable. I believe the, there should be a, a, a potentiometer in there to change the voltage up and down. But then again, when you're dealing with USB, you don't want it to be adjustable because you can start blowing things up. Uh, so I'm not worried about that at all. Um, the description also says it's um, 8 to 40, is it? Let's have a look. 12, 24, 40 volts, 2, 5 volt, 5 amp. Okay, so I, I don't believe this can handle 40 volts. And I have got some 40 volt um, or 36 volt lithium ion packs. Uh, but the capacitor actually says 35 volts in it. So we're not going to try it at high voltage because I don't want it for high voltage. What I want is something that can step down about mm, 20, 20 volts. 12 to 20 volts down to 5 volts and this should do the trick. Now it's got three terminals. Um, top one there as we look at it is uh, positive in, uh, middle one is ground or, or negative and the bottom one is voltage out so it's got a shared neutral or negative or ground whatever you want to call it and the bottom one actually tests out as 5 volts when you put it uh, across ground so 12 volts in 5 volts out. Exactly what I need. Now, why have I got one of these? I picked this up uh, because um, on the various uh, lithium packs that I've been creating, uh, namely the 12 volt 36 amp hour lithium ion phosphate packs, I'm actually using um, sort of 12 volt in car adapters uh, glued and soldered to uh, provide me with USB. And uh, you can see that here two old USB car adapters and uh, th they do their job well. I mean, I've got one on a switch because I don't want little neons on all the time. And uh, it just so happens that the problem that I have with this is I haven't got enough USB ports, so I end up sticking this in there anyway. Um, and I'm starting to work on a couple of um, 18650 packs at 16 volts and I don't really want to try these car chargers on that sort of thing because I just don't think they're going to handle it. Although some of these are 24 volt. So I've picked this up and uh, I'm just going to give it a quick test uh, to prove it works. And then I'll be installing it in one of my future projects. And if it's any good, I will be um, buying a couple more to keep in stock. Uh, so out of interest, where did I get this from and how much did it cost? Uh, go back to the phone. The grand sum of 369, uh, 359. Um, and uh, the seller is B Good 2010. Um, I, I recall it came in a, a matter of days, so I, I don't know whether it came from China. I don't think it did. The, the package didn't, didn't, didn't originate from China. So, Right, so I'm just going to quickly wire this up and uh, we'll see what we can do. Right, so it's powered in, uh, plugged in and powered up. I've got a little red LED there. Uh, it doesn't actually display uh, or register uh, that it's pulling much at all. 0 0.001 milliamp. Yes, so that's quite good. So it hasn't got much of a standby current. Got my meter there. Uh, I've no idea how I'm going to do this because I'm tripodless, as I broke my tripod doing the last test. So. Um, that's the pack voltage of 13.23 volts. And if I go to the other terminal, try, he says. Five point zero four volts on the other terminal, which we're not actually using, but it's there in case you want to take five volts off, I guess. And uh, if I plug my tablet in, And the lead is quite dodgy on my tablet, it's getting old. 
turns itself on, and you can see my pretty little face in the corner. There. And we are charging 32%. Uh, and we're registering uh, three quarters of an amp, nine watts. It's not too bad. And the screen does go off after a while anyway, so you just have to press the button and it tells you it's still charging. Yeah, so I am quite pleased with this. I cannot test, um, other than the, the reading on here, I can't tell how much power it's putting out through the USB because uh, as with anything in the, in my life, I've misplaced my portable power meter and uh, obviously can't plug that into the USB side. Mm. So yeah, that is the review of the, uh, well, a little review of the step down uh, power converter. It's, it's not what it says on the advert uh, or description. It just steps down to 5 volts, uh, giving you ability to charge up many USB things at once. And you'll be seeing this later on in my other project. So thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe, comment and rate. I'll see you in my next video. Cheers.